I had a smile on my face mm -hmm. through all the adversity that we are going through because, uh, Opie, uh, Steven Seagal. His show started last has, night. Has a TV show. Yeah. And uh, before his, his TV show, I watched an entire biography. You know the show Biography? Sure. Done on Steven Seagal. That, that had to be a snooze fest. Yeah, I got to say, this guy is master poe that got recognized <laughs> i swear to you same guy it is it might be a little too inside it, but it, I, yeah yeah I, I like that but it is hysterical this guy did you ever get into steven seagal no i was never a fan of steven seagal the uh, name one you movie know that was, I, I uh, all right you know it was it wasn't a bad movie uh -huh. was that one where he was uh the cook on the um on the ship. Under Siege. Under Siege. Oh, Under Siege, yeah. Under you know Siege was a was pretty was good right. one. You're right. Had a budget. You're right. Had some stars in it. It was kind of kind of cool and shit like that. You're right. That was a good one. Um, Judah Freelander was on the, the biography show. <laughs> Why? He is a motherfucking Steven Seagal fan. Yeah, he loves him. Dude, he knew everything about Judah him. Judah Friedlander? Yes, loves him. I was laughing my ass off because it's like, Judah, just talking about it like, like, and, and the direct-to-video movies, I, I watch them whenever whenever I see one, a movie on. I mean, this guy's wait, wait, a was genius. He, and, was he kind of... No, he was... Was he faking it? Deadly serious. Really? His love he of has, Steven Seagal. But I think he knows Seagal's movies. He has to know his he, Yeah, it was, you could tell he knows, but it's like... It's like, uh, you know, the movie Roadhouse. Stinks on ice, but you would watch it. Sure. You know, just for the goof factor. Steven Seagal, it's the same thing. And they went through, uh, they were showing pictures of him when he was a kid and, and uh, when he first got into his martial arts. And uh, and then he apparently, 20 years ago, uh, was a deputy sheriff. They uh, kind of, yeah, he was teaching, he was teaching this... Uh, a uh, uh, place down in in Louisiana, one of their one of their parishes or something, teaching them martial arts to help them out there in the field. Sure, sure, sure. And the uh, the head muckety muck down there said, "Hey, you know, why don't you join? You know, you're a good guy, a big guy. You know what you're doing." So uh, he joined. He was deputy sheriff for so twenty we, years. So we been... fast forward and we get the TV show. So now after all the, uh, this shit with right. uh, you know his movies going kind of down the, the crapper and everything, uh, he decides this is going to be a reality show. I was watching it, and uh, the pomposity of Steven Seagal is is unsurpassed. He's he's uh, he's talking to uh, the room full of officers. We should have clips officers. of this. Yeah, we, we could get clips. This show will be on. We, you, right. Believe me. The, the boys down the hall, if you get a couple clips of the show. It, um, it debuted last night? Yeah, or, or the night before. Whatever okay. it was. I, I saw it last night. All right. And uh, he is talking to the guys saying, you know, hey, hey, look. Don't look at me like I'm a big movie star. <laughs> look at me like I'm one, someone who can save your life. He's not a big movie exactly. star. Exactly. The best part was like some of the cops are looking like, don't look at you like you're a he, big movie star. I didn't for a second. <laughs> he might have been a big movie star for two years. Yeah, yeah. For a couple of years. A couple he had, of years, maybe. Had some hit movies. You know, he was competing with, I think, Van Damme. I, there I don't for think a while. anyone would confuse him for a big movie star he, in the year he, 2009. He's a very iconic figure. He's a weird, uh, yeah. but he's not a relevant movie star at all. But no, no one no, says no. movie star, by the way. It's not 1955. Movie star. Movie star, yes. exactly. Don't look at me like I'm the star of stage and screen. And, and in the biography, they do cover um, uh, some sides uh, that I think would surprise you. Uh, you know, there's a musical side to uh, Steven Seagal. He put out an album. No, he didn't. Where is yes, it? Yes, where he wrote the songs. Get me a song. He plays guitar. It's Get called me a song. It's called Steven Seagal Songs from the Crystal Cave. That's photoshopped. <laughs> he didn't release a photo of himself dramatically staring over the neck of a guitar. Yes, he is holding the guitar, <laughs> and he is dramatically staring over the neck. Of the guitar as he's as he's holding a chord, and um, it is get me a god sample. awful. We got one. No, we could not possibly have some Steven Seagal. Funny, they didn't have certain Beatles songs off the first yeah, album, but they, they have this. Steven yeah, Seagal. really. Let's now take some a black guys uh, singing for a little bit, but then Steven Seagal comes in. If this is that song, I don't know, or maybe it starts right off with him.
All different genres, he said, were included. None are good. They told him, don't mix up the genres. And he said, I'm doing what I want because I'm Steven Seagal, movie star. If only I Here is that him? Yeah. That I needed to say That's got a Chris Christopherson quality. It's not, you know what? I want to beat it up, but you can't. That's I mean, a Judah not, Freelander set. I wouldn't, Freelander said the same thing. I wouldn't be downloading this anytime soon, but we've heard we've heard movie stars uh, singing a lot worse than this. He said he was hoping it was worse than it was. Yeah, I, I can't beat this but up. But it's just, see, there's a musical side. That you don't this is know fucking about. Terrible. It's it not. It's 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 fucking toneless. It's milk toast. It's not even tur. It's it's in the category of just there. It is. It's just there. It's laying there. It's just laying there. Yeah. yeah. It's laying there. And, and a lot of vocals over him and stuff. And then there was a part where they were talking about um, uh, how he's uh very charitable. Mm -hmm. He tries to uh, keep the maintain this tough guy attitude. Opie, let me tell you. He's doing charity work with small children in Thailand, ah. where they where they show uh, fucking Steven Se Seagal found a loophole. <laughs> he might have God found a loophole. bless you, brother. He'll kick your ass. You mentioned that because I just said a loophole. He they showed him going to this orphanage in Thailand where these children have been uh, abused in many many different ways. Right, and um, uh, one person who was very happy because Steven Seagal did. Uh, you know, fund a lot of this and make make it possible in Thailand to to bring these children together into one <laughs> spot. And uh, a person that was very happy for the contribution was the Catholic priest that ran the place. I was horrified when I saw this guy pop his fucking head into the scene. It's like Voss running a casino, <laughs> dude. Wait. When I saw that, I was like, a Catholic priest. Oh my God! Yes, mm -hmm. there's a priest just talking. He. He could not talk any better about Jesus. He was talking about Steven Seagal like he was Jesus. Delivering fucking it's like cheeseburgers to Steve C. It would be like it would be like <laughs> Keith the Cobb instead of like uh, gathering homeless guys today, gathering yes. up high school girls and dropping them off at your compound at for the weekend. Exactly. Correct mundo. Give myself a bell. Say Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Uh, I gotta watch this thing now. I had no desire to watch the biography of Steven Dude, Seagal, but now I, I have could, to watch. I couldn't get enough of Steven Seagal. And then last night, watching his crime fighting. Terrific, he, right? They show, they show him sitting in the uh, passenger seat. Guy's driving, another guy's Is driving. Is he recognizable as Steven Seagal? He, oh, yeah. Because some of these guys, you know. No, he's Steven Seagal. You could, he's got the perpetual fucking, the eyebrows going down like he's mad all the time. Yeah. He's got the ponytail. Yeah. And uh, he's in full regalia, you know, because he's a deputy sheriff. And he drives around with this guy, and he was talking about how he has a sixth sense. Ugh, yes. Ew. Shut up. Shut up. It's Steven Seagal. And he drives around and goes, I look at things. They, they have like a voiceover. He goes, I look at things. I look at hands. I look at faces. What's his sixth sense? You sense? learn over. He knows if he's driving by. Is his sixth sense that he detects? Uh, oh fuck! Oh oh oh, B. <laughs> Where's Tiger Woods' mom? Uh, all right. What happened? That is Tiger Woods' <laughs> mom. We'll get into that a little later. I was gonna say it detects uh, douche chills. It would have uh, kind of yeah. worked, but I stammered oh, boy. to it. He uh, he said he could detect. Like, like people, their mannerisms, facial expressions. When he drives past and sees two people on a corner, he knows if there's shenanigans going on. Yeah. Um, you know. He drives around at night, right? Maybe. Uh, so so if you're driving around at night and you, and you see people just hanging out on a corner, <laughs> they're people. Most, most, most times they're up to no good. I think that might be him talking about how he's a movie star. Could you back that up a little bit? Uh, and, and let's get Steven Seagal talking. He's addressing the uh, rest of the uh, guy in Jefferson, uh, what is it, Jefferson Parish or something like that? Yeah, Sheriff's, Sheriff's office. office. He's addressing back some of at the training academy. This time I'm teaching some of the new recruits. Hopefully some of the things I'll teach them will keep them safe and save their lives. Some of you know me, some of you don't. I've been doing the martial arts for over 40 years. So you can look at me at a movie star, say, hey, man, Steven Seagal here, he's a movie star. Or you can wipe that out of your head and think, Steven Seagal can save my life. Because that's why I'm here. Ah, Weapons retention 
<laughs> oh my god! I gotta watch this show. He's an ass. Not it one. Is... Not one recruit looked at him like no, no, no. Sorry, we weren't thinking that at all, there, Stephen. It is the best show on television right now. Least... I am giving it best show on television. James R. in Jersey, he gives us a clip. He says, starting at 326, he, he says he has superpowers. Did he, talk <laughs> he of, does. Did that, he talk about his superpowers? I think that's part of his superpowers where he talks about how he can just fucking look at people, dude, and he knows. Okay, so it's superpowers, not, he a, knows. not a six. I have those same superpowers. I can look at people and know if they're committing crimes uh, or innocent or guilty. Dude, I've been talking about my superpowers on the air for years. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same superpowers. <laughs> Don't bullshit me, Steven Seagal. I know what you're using. <laughs> God, damn, I gotta start DVRing this show. Oh, uh, Steven man. Seagal, Lawman, and and his biography with uh, Judah uh, talking about it. I I would love to talk to Judah a little bit about well, that. Well, now we have something to talk to Judah about. I know. We love Judah. It's fantastic. He's becoming a big star with that thirty big rock star. And uh, they had another guy. Uh, it slips my mind who he was, but another big Steven Seagal fan. And they know the movies. They know Judah's going off about like parts of the movies, co-stars, mm -hmm. how he was uh, acting. How uh, do you do you know Steven Seagal's original uh, sensei was a little angry with Steven Seagal because he was using the type of martial arts that he used at the beginning was accurate and then toward the uh, the end of his uh, big movie career he started a uh, um bastardizing that technique a little and and the sensei was uh, a little worried that people would look and go that's not really agamaka tusha <laughs> oh he was freestyling meanwhile it's no one knows he was freestyling for the movie yeah. freestyling a little, a little bit no one would know what type no. of martial arts he was fucking using when he's chopping someone's hand off with a machete mm. unbelievable it's oh, wait, wait, fantastic. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say hi to Sean in Georgia. A lot of people saw the lawman last lawman. night. Lawman. Uh, Sean, what do you got? Hey, at one point, they're chasing a guy, and uh, they lose a fellow officer on radio contact. And Steven Seagal goes, oh, God, we've lost Johnny on radio. We need to find him quick. In which he proceeds to walk briskly looking for him. <laughs> walk briskly? That's... Steven Seagal is really fat. <laughs> I will, he's he's really not in 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 shape. Is what it is. Incredibly fat. He should he should use some of those karate moves to keep the food out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> whipping away. <his> <laughs> he should be whipping away the buffet. Oh my god! What is that? That's it's the Master Poe Star Wars Kid video on YouTube. It's one of our favorites. I have got to put that in uh, Adobe After Effects of and course. put a lightsaber yeah. effect on it. Oh, people have done that. Yes. Yeah. That is the Master Poe. He's in the hallway with a sword, uh, waving it around, and it is nothing but fantastic. You no, know, I do miss uh, Master Poe. If you're out there, of I course. say hi to Master Poe today. I say us. I miss Poe as well. There he is with the lightsaber. Somebody with, actually with, did. Oh, by the way, as the guy down the hall is all pissed at me right now, look at this. Foundrymusic.com. This was not brought to you by Foundrymusic.com. Oh, it says this was not brought to you by Foundrymusic.com. <laughs> what is that about? Maybe the, maybe one of the fans did it as a goof? Maybe. No, that. Oh, no, it's got the, uh, the logo. Where was the Opie and Anthony logo on that? Why, do you why, have, why have one? Why the f... Because it's Master Poe. Why would that he might you should find out. Maybe he didn't do it. I don't no, want to talk to him. I'll have a professional relationship. I'll say I yes, no, thank you, and that's it. I don't know what that is. But uh, Steven Seagal, uh, very Another out of shape. Another person took advantage of us. Another one. Fuck! Sorry. No, no. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, very out of shape. So, yeah, he walks briskly when he tries to apprehend somebody. A brisk walk is what Steven Seagal does. does. he have to, like, keep wiping his brow? He's sweating all the time. <laughs> is he really? <laughs> that brow that's just, like, always... <sighs> you know he has swamp ass as he's... Oh, God, <laughs> sitting in that fucking patrol car briskly all night long. walking. <laughs> oh, but it's great. His the, He is so pompous. And then he talks about his martial arts and and how uh, how it's affected him. He's a Buddhist, yes, he and uh, so he's constantly putting his hands together and uh, meditating a little bit. Yes, he is uh, mm. during. Um, for, yeah, for the people that don't know uh, Master Poe that well, you do a YouTube search and just put in Master Poe. Oh, dude, you'll there, have some enjoyment today. There is so much, <laughs> so much Master, Master Poe Master video. Poe's body rock. Master Poe body rock. <laughs> Uh, it is, it is fabulous. 
I fucking love this guy. Is that at a mall or something? My favorite is when he was dancing on Bourbon Street as we're trying to do a broadcast. Oh, yeah. And we got lunatics that are throwing beads at us. And the whole reason he was there was to protect us. And he's too busy dancing with all the broads on Bourbon Street. Uh, what happened? Not that I don't... I, I understand, obviously. But Jesus, Master Poe. It's fantastic. All right, so Lawman. Lawman, uh, yeah, check it out. Um, it, if, if you don't get douche chills in uh, the first... Five minutes. I uh, change the channel. <laughs> does he talk black when he's uh, in front of black people? Someone is saying. It oh, seemed like he was he a little bit yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, Steven Seagal saved my life. Saved my life. Oh, we got a deputy. In, uh, a deputy uh, in New Orleans. Oh yeah. Uh, Brad. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey Hi, Brad. Brad. Fuck those saints, by the way. Fuck them. Hey, 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 sorry, man. I'm at work right now. Look here, let me tell you something. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. That motherfucker Steven Seagal is bullshit. Yeah. He got a, it's an honorary deputy uh, that he is. He's not a commissioned deputy. That motherfucker got that from the sheriff in a parade 20 years ago. <laughs> so he's an honorary. Bullshit. Now, how can he uh, carry a weapon and, and uh, whatnot? Because they gave him, a, 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 in the state of Louisiana, if you get a commission from a sheriff, they allow you to carry a gun if you take the qualification test. Uh huh. He's a lawman. <laughs> he, he went and took the test, and it, it took him three times to get the damn qualification. Really? Damn. So man. now, what what do you guys think? Have you seen the show? We were laughing our ass. <laughs> Come on, it's Steven Seagal, lawman. Sir, I don't like the fact that you're bad mouthing this lawman. <laughs> exactly, he's a lawman. Hey. Yeah. Piece of shit in Jefferson Parish. <laughs> all he did was he, he, he does all this uh, uh, shit about he a deputy in Jefferson Parish. The deputies in Jefferson Parish are laughing at his ass. If you notice, he didn't even ride it out in a Mark Unit. He was riding around in a wreck. A <laughs> wreck deputy. That's a deputy who don't even see the sunlight most of the time. <laughs> they all in the damn office. Really. He, let me tell you, he dead motherfucker, and then he did that shit in the summertime. He couldn't even do it in the last couple of weeks because that area he's at has been demolished and torn down. God damn it! Uh, I I tell you, I got I got I got something else I want to say right now. What? I always knew Notorious B.I.G. was still living. Oh man, you he sound is like, in New Orleans, like Notorious and he's B. working as a deputy. Yeah, yo, Biggie hey, Smalls hey, is hey, alive hey, and well in New Orleans. Man, why don't y'all come down here to New Orleans for Mardi Gras and we, we get a couple of girls to get naked, especially the girls there. The Catholic school—they were really like you, Aunt. We <laughs> did. We did go to uh, New Orleans, yeah. and we watched. Uh, we watched a crowd of black kids just punching white people in the street. It was fantastic. Look, you know, hey. uh, you know, Brad. I, I like to have a little bit of a open mind when it comes to that type of thing that Aunt talks about, but I have to back him up on this one. We were on a balcony, and these and these youths were just punching. Uh, white, white people, people the as they walk by over and like over they'd, again. Yeah. They'd squeeze the uh, gr uh, their the guy's uh, chick's tit, and then when the guy turned around and said something, cold cock, <laughs> bam, right in the fucking face. Yeah, there was, was no lawman to protect them. Where was lawman? And then Jimmy and lawman I were probably in plain clothes uniform, which you guys should have been. Who's with me? Oh, with they, the got him. they got him. thing with this guy. Yeah, yeah, a little for... bit. Holy yeah. shit! They they wound up getting uh getting the group after a while. What you guys need to do is, when you come down to New Orleans this time, mm -hmm. go in the Bourbon Street and go, go in the French Quarter and enjoy yourself. And then when the parade starts, get your ass up on the, on the balcony and stay on the balcony. That's exactly what we did, dude. We had it some, was great. We had a good time. We did. Yeah, we did two or three of those. We had a great Went time Went to the strip down in clubs, New Orleans, man. Got and handies, the, whatever. And get Knee all jobs. The and was... all the good beads. Before the parade started, you catch the girls going up and down the street. Mm. You get to see more titties than the mammograms. Uh, nice. Than a, than a mammogram. I Oof. hear you. We were the <laughs> By the way, <laughs> how does he not get a car crash for that one? <laughs> I know. Because we're scared hey, of the black okay, man. Jimmy. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry, mister. All right, Brad. Thank you. Good right, call, thanks. brother. All right. Go ahead. Good. Continue looting stores. <laughs> oh, come on. That's <laughs> not a pro. <laughs> <laughs> deputy. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's true. That was a police point. joke. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. Nice. Good point. Good point. <laughs> all right, sir. Thank you, Brad. Take it easy, uh, Brad. Uh, my son is... Uh, can you play... Can I have my TV back, Brad? He, uh, because uh, oh. no, uh, Zumba. Uh, all right, one more, and then we got to move on. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go to Lance in Louisiana. Lance? 
Good morning, my boy. Hey. Hey, Lance. <laughs> how classic was when he had those circle sunglasses on, teaching those guys how to shoot or whatever, defend themselves? He looked like Prince. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also, he called this one. This one guy had problems putting the handcuffs on. Yeah. He called it. He said, "How does that feel, brother?" <laughs> brother. The guy, the guy kicks the wind out, and then they pull out the taser gun immediately and tase him. It was, it was probably the best thing I've ever seen. It was, uh, yeah. It, it really is entertaining to watch uh, a, a C-list actor uh, try to be a lawman like that. It's, 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 it's hysterical. Uh, speaking of shows, why don't we do some lawman clips? Ant's been uh, chomping at the bit lawman. with this lawman thing. Lawman. This new Steven Seagal show. Steven Seagal. What a what a complete tool he is. He's a complete tool. Why is Sam in here? What's the matter, Sammy? Just in case you need help with the clip. Sammy. We don't need your help. Sammy. I'm, I'll be silent <laughs> until you ask. I won't speak unless spoken to. <laughs> Lawman. Lawman. Yes, Steven, Steven Seagal. Seagal. Well, who knows? Steven Seagal, uh, 20 years, he's been a deputy uh, sheriff uh, down there in uh, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And um, a complete asshole. <laughs> Just a complete douche. He, uh, they showed early clips of him, and he was, he was thin, into karate, whatever kind of karate he did mm -hmm. and everything, uh, making his action movies, Under Siege. Was a good movie for the time and Is everything. Is it still a good movie? Nah, I, I remember the time I liked it. It's probably well, you probably watch it now and it would be one of those hokey. Here's the bad bad guy, you know, sort of like the Hans Gruber character, and right. then this and that. But uh, that was the movie where know. the broad uh, pops out of the cake, right? Uh, was that the one? The yeah, Baywatch so. broad. Yeah, anybody? Sure, something right. like that. Whatever, throwing you off. Good. Uh, and uh, well, he was a deputy sheriff for twenty years, so he's decided now to do a show like cops a la cops, where uh, they follow him around with a camera. And uh, he does his lawman stuff, which for the most part is telling other people what to do, much to their chagrin, by the <laughs> not way. happy that they're he's getting not, all the attention, right? They're not happy with Steven Seagal telling them anything, to tell getting you the truth. Getting in their way. Yes, and it is. Steven Seagal, they should call the show Steven Seagal, Getting in the way. So you just said that I, I visualize dice in that same fucking. It, it really <laughs> is similar to like, dice like doing just getting ride alongs. In, yeah, just getting in everyone's way. Yeah. <laughs> Steven Seagal getting in the way. Uh, there was a great clip of him um, driving with somebody, with one of the uh, officers, and uh, he's just telling the guy, okay, left. Now we're right here. Now turn over here. Go straight. Now make a right. And the guy just goes, could you let me drive? <laughs> like he was—he was actually getting angered at Steven Seagal. This show's a lawman. Well, we played this first clip on Monday, but we'll start here. Seagal explains that he could—he could be seen as a movie star oh, or someone that will save your life. Yes, this is yes. when he was talking to the recruits or the or the rest of the guys at that particular precinct. Yeah, when you're teaching the class. Oh, he was actually teaching a class. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some of you know me, some of you don't. I've been doing martial arts for over forty years. So you can look at me at a movie star, say, hey, man, Steven Seagal here, he's a movie star. Or <laughs> really? you can wipe that <laughs> out of your head and think Steven Seagal can save my life, because that's why I'm here. Oops. My biggest concern when you all are on the street is weapons retention, because that's the quickest way you will get killed. Weapons retention is one of the most important things to teach these kids. See that over here? Yes. Now you got him. 90% of the time when they get into a fight or an altercation, they're in danger of getting their own weapon taken from them and killed with their own weapon. No, 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 no. Slide that this way. It's my job to teach them how to never let that weapon get taken. Mm. It's my job to teach them. Uh, Chris King from Ontario. Ha ha, right on, Ope. Christy Swanson and her giant creamy titties. Popped out of the cake in Under Siege. Can we find ah. that clip? And yes, the movie pretty much holds up minus a few douche chills. Yeah, yeah. There's a that was Christy stuff. Swanson. Didn't she turn out to be one of those fucking ice skating uh, girls when I they don't remember when her. they were doing like Dancing with the Stars on ice, basically? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember her. You don't remember? You'll remember, I don't remember. her. She, she was pretty fucking hot. I don't remember. Take a look. Yeah. You want to take a little look at Christy Swanson? We'll take a little. Oh, was I it Christy Swanson? Sure. I might challenge that. You know how um, you know how retarded I am. Uh, leaving for the parking lot yesterday, I noticed there's a new show 
right here on the on this uh, this road that we uh, that we're on. A new show in the theater. You know that one theater across from the garage, pretty much. Yeah, a little bit for it, starring Scarlett Johansson. <sighs> and I'm like, I looked and I thought to myself, Scarlett Johansson's like going to be right there, and I work right here. Yeah. And I didn't allow it to go any further in my head <laughs> because I start thinking, what, 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 what am I going to get, Scarlett Johansson? Why not? But she's close. Why not, dude? She's close by now. God, we got to get a glimpse of her. When, when, uh, when does she do the show in the uh -huh. afternoon? It's, it's, I don't know. The signs up. They were moving shit in. It like I don't think it's. I, I'm not sure if it started yet, but it ends in like April. So she'll she'll be there, you know, for oh, a while. Cool. Maybe by that yeah. time, I could cultivate some kind of relationship. Of course. Uh, it wasn't Christy Swanson. I, I did. I, I did put what? a challenge out there. By the way, I did challenge that guy's knowledge. It was what's her name, Erica Alaniac. Look at this fucking. Well, it's it's the dated panties. <laughs> the fucking dated panties. Yeah, when they go high up on the hip. I oh, hate that. Yeah, they, they don't look <laughs> good. But look at oh those. Oh my god! <laughs> those. Thank you. Those tits are under siege. Look at that. And there's oh, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. Why would you fucking make her put her shirt back on, Stephen? What's wrong with you? He is in the middle of a siege. Mr. He's under siege, Opie. You guys should Mr. Skin this shit. <laughs> Could I see that again? Yeah, because those... Uh, what do you think, Ant? Those titties are amazing. What do you think? They're amazing. <laughs> what the fuck do you think? They're amazing. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, nice Danny. freeze frame, Danny. Perfect. Danny, give yourself a, an award. See, Sam... The Learn something. Frame, the freeze frame Learn of the day something right there. from Danny. He just hit pause. Yeah, at the perfect spot, That's he right. was able to pull the girl up. You'd still be looking at fucking uh, under siege pictures, right, let's, posters he, for the fucking movie. He was a Mr. Skin. Yeah, let's see you do it. Go ahead. Yeah, let's it's see already your, there. No, let's see your pause. Start over, Danny. Go ahead, Sam. You get one yes, shot at it. Go ahead, this. Sam. There you go. Come on. She get popped it. out of the cake. There she we, is. We don't see the creamy whites yet. Ah, she's dancing. Here comes Steven Seagal. She throws her hat off. She turns around. Are oh you my kidding God. Me? What did you get? Are no. you kidding me? You Listen. paused it before she opened her jacket. You, you when she was still turned dick. away. We're, we're, not, we're, we're looking not at gonna, her back. Oh, you suck. <laughs> we're not gonna, I'm not even going to play this game if it's not going to be played fairly. <laughs> what are you talking what about? If there's it gonna paused be, twice and there's you gonna sucked be both times. Other hands on the mouse, then it won't even go down. What? <laughs> are you fucking, the, you're accusing Danny? That's right. Of interfering with your I was drinking juice. If it's not going to be a competition. juice. How dare you blame Danny? If it's not going to be a competition, it's not gonna be a competition. Danny's a Danny doesn't I wanna do say, that type of thing. Go ahead. Thing. I really want to see him pause. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go back to the beginning of the scene. No, go beginning. back to the beginning. Beginning. Come on, you. Fucking you don't even know cheat. where the beginning is. Look, he can't the fucking. Oh, no, that's not the. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Pops out of the cake about? with the horrible old school panties. There she goes. She's hips. Shaking her ass. There's Steven. which makes coming the ass look too five. long. She throws right. the hat. And she pulls the coat open. What? Oh, oh, terrible! Look, look, it's, it's all it's a blurry mess. You suck! It's a Listen, blurry mess. That is th the worst <laughs> fucking pause. And why didn't you pause it the first time she opened her <laughs> shirt up? That one's better. Oh yeah, the blurry one. Well, it doesn't have you to be are blurry. Awful. Right, Danny's show. back at the con. Right. There's Steven Seagal. He's coming in. There goes the hat. And she throws it. She doesn't move. She opens up. Yeah. Oh, look at those tits. Nice, right? It's totally blurry. God, no, it no, isn't. No, it's not. It's blurry. It's squint Clearer a little than bit. yours. It's a squint. It's fine. Yeah. There. there you go. Fixed with one frame. All right. God, you suck at that, Sam. Did Radio you? is an audible medium. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, why don't we do Lawman, Steven Seagal. This is the show that Anthony has uh, brought to our attention for the most part. And uh, Oh, come on. And, and you're loving it, right? Oh, he's uh, more than fantastic. Who knew he was Seagal. a deputy sheriff for 20 years? Yeah, he explains that he could be seen as a movie star or someone that will save their life. And and the recruits or whoever he's talking to rolling their eyes just like, give me a break. Yeah, the rest of the guys are kind of like, well, Not into this whatsoever. So pompous. Some of you know me, some of you don't. I've been doing the martial arts for over 40 years. So you can look at me at a movie star, say, hey man, Steven Seagal here, he's a movie star. Or <laughs> you can wipe really? that out of your head and say, Steven Seagal can save my life. Because that's why I'm here. My biggest concern when y'all are on the street is weapons retention. Because that's the quickest way you will get killed. Weapons retention is one of the most important things to teach these kids. Get that elbow in the air. Now you got him. 90% of the time when they get into a fight or an altercation, they're in danger of getting their own weapon taken from them and killed with their own weapon. No, 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 no. Slide that this way. It's my job to teach them how to never let that weapon get taken. 
Can I ask Anthony a question? Yeah. On this website, is that the pro is that the process that you had done? Is the see Mr. Goal? <laughs> <laughs> no, is that no. what is that what under your hat is fucking? No, no, I don't know what Steven Seagal looks had. like. Alligator stomach leather. That actually that's looks like shit. Photoshop. That looks like they photoshopped nope, that's, hair. And... That's spray on shit. Oh, is it the spray? That on looks like hair? spray on shit, oh, shit to fill in some uh, some problem areas. Oh, oh Steven. <laughs> mm. Uh, it starts raining, and you just see black yeah. paint running down his head. Because <laughs> he's had that done Freeze. for a long time. Lawman, uh, got to be mad that this Steven Seagal is out there representing him. Right. Why? Hey, 20 years. He hasn't done shit in 20 years as far as lawman things yeah, go. So what? Uh, after finding a gun on a guy, Seagal reflects on how awesome he is. Really? Yeah. Last night was a good reminder of how anybody can die anytime, any place, and how you always got to be on your toes. If you chase some people with guns, you've got to figure out a way to take them down without you getting hurt or anybody else. I've studied the martial arts most of my life, so I have a lot of confidence in myself. But I really worry about my own team members sometimes, so today I'm going to see I'm a little coarse in the martial arts and teach these boys some new tricks. That's right. He rules. Oops. And then he just gets out there, and he's too fat. To do foot pursuits, <laughs> uh, he he just sits in the passenger seat of cars that yeah. are being driven by other people, people that are qualified, and and like <laughs> does he he backseat? He's like a backseat driver. Yeah, but right. he's got his left, right, left, let make a left, and, the, and the, one of the officers actually said, you "Let me drive. Could you let me drive?" He can't drive like, though. He has to be in the passenger seat because he's got that sixth sense thing where he yes. can see the. Boo, boo, boo. He talks about how he has this sixth <laughs> sense where he sees groups of people maybe hanging out and see and knows what they're up to. And it flashes and zooms in and X-rays and stuff. Yes, it's like it's he's like, got a bionic eye. Yeah, it's what? like Steve Austin. He's worried about his boys because he knows yeah. some of these guys are his partner. <laughs> <laughs> partner, wow. partner is I need to save him. <laughs> All right. Uh, Seagal teaches his uh, class of karate maneuvers here. I'm one of the highest ranking Aikido teachers in the world. <clears throat> this young gentleman is going to help me demonstrate some Aikido technique. If somebody starts to punch, this kind of punching, come, I want you to get behind him. Take that chin, Oops. press it up against your <laughs> shoulder. And you can pop this or get him under any kind of control you want. Aikido has written the way of harmony. It's an art based on blending with the attacker's force and being able to <laughs> redirect it to neutralize your opponent. To neutralize your... He's so overly dramatic in, in this show and in everything he does. Uh, before the show started, they had some kind of biography on, on Steven Seagal. And, uh, boy, they showed him throughout his whole career in the martial arts when he was younger and uh, when he first got into movies. Can we and give him credit, though? Holy shit. What? Good, Under Siege? Good, bad movies, man. Under Siege. Under is, Siege 2 is... E Under get Siege out of here, 2 really? on the train is even more... Is it, I love brilliant. it better than Under really? Siege. I love the train. There are some that. huge Seagal fans what out What was his there. name in Under Siege? You know oh, it. Come on. Shit. Come on. What's his name? I can't remember. When it, I'm uh, never going to remember. Ro ready? My favorite scene from Under Siege 2. They, he, somebody's on the train killing our, our our amazing people that we hired. There's a fuck... Both movies, the same thing. One yeah, on the ship, yeah. one on the train. Wait, D-Boy. Lionsgate. Is that why you're in here? Ryback. What? Hey, see right back, baby. Fucking Z-Boy right right knows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he Look, goes, he's smiling. It's, it, it, because it's a great film. And, and he goes, <laughs> and they both go, Tommy Lee Jones is the is the boss. Yeah, yeah, he's the bad guy. And then the other guy on, on two, his name is, um uh he played the vampire in the movie Silver Bullet. His name is uh Everett McGill. He mm -hmm. was the, uh, the boss of that. So they both of them, same scene, is like, there's people disappearing. These these high-ranking Navy, ex-Navy SEAL people we hired to take over this fucking ship. We murdered half the crew, and yeah. we have them in the basement. But what the fuck is going on? There's somebody that's killing them. Let's go downstairs and find out. So in part two, they find he he, he uh, used one of his, his phone to send a text or a fax. They go through it and find out... Uh, Casey Ryback's recipes because he's a a cook and yeah, the guy goes the cook on the show. Somebody always course. goes Casey fucking Ryback. <laughs> really? Both, both movies. <laughs> Casey fucking Ryback, the cook. 
<laughs> the guy train. He wait a minute. He trains the people who train people that train people. He trains the trainers. <laughs> what is he doing on my fucking train? Killing people. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what? In the first one, too. Gary, yeah, Gary Busey Gary was, was awesome. There, there's a, a scene with um, uh, where, where he has that knife fight with uh, Tommy Lee Jones, oh. and it just goes on forever. <laughs> it's like the longest He has knife a fight. sword steak knife fight with yes with both guys yeah yeah it's the same movie <laughs> sword steak knife fight it's a, it's a sword steak knife fight where and if you notice let me tell you I, I'm, I'm a big early steven seagal movie fan i've seen mm -hmm. them all a few times he never what's great about him he never ever gets his ass beaten in movies. It has to be a clause. <laughs> no one <laughs> even the first movie where he ever got hit was Mark for Death. <laughs> they let the Jamaican guy hit him, but then he broke him in half and threw him down an elevator shaft. <laughs> but he never has yeah. a match. There's never a guy who can match his ability. No, no, of course not. It's Stop. A, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Steven Seagal. And, and are you a Steven Seagal movie fan? No. 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 I like you I, either? I, no, 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 no. I, no. I dig the Absolutely. early. D-Boy is. I, I dig yeah. Greatest his, his, martial arts move of all time, let me just say. Steven Seagal's fucking clothesline karate chop where your feet go completely in the air and it looks just looks he does it in every movie hard to kill out for justice something something for something <laughs> never never more than three words watch out motherfucker <laughs> even the one where he was in a, he was a, looking for a uh, the mining town. The mining town had uh, uh, the evil miners. Of course, there's always the evil uh, yeah. boss guys. And he fucking just keeps chopping people's feet up in there. <laughs> you got you. Please, you I, gotta I, look. I, I will search out, out some of those. Come on, man. Don't do this to Steve Zagal, except for the lawman, of course. Uh, no lawman. But you I gotta mean, love his direct to video now, though, is what's killing him because it's like. He he's holds just, his stomach and he's he's yeah, 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 he's terrible. It's he got in, he got in trouble with that bitch and it's kind of made everything. Yeah, that fucked everything mm. up. But he was famous twenty years ago. Yeah, that famous a long time. Oh man, under Above siege. The law. Is, how long is under siege? How long ago was that? Ninety six. No, that was like his four ninety six. Ninety two. That was his block. Right under siege right two there. was ninety five. Here's where it got bad. Uh, yeah, okay, here's where it fire got bad. down. Glimmer man was 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 really bad. Uh, that was with um. Uh, I'm Keenan amazed Ivory, that you even know that. Keenan Ivory Wayans. Okay. Half past dead. Half past dead was when he, was the one where they tried to make uh, Ja Rule a a big star. Mm hmm. Uh, it got bad after half past dead. Like bad where it's over bad. That is funny now that the I, foreigner out 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 for kill Clementine I'm, out of reach. I'm into looking the at sun. the names. Hard to kill. Marked for death, yeah. out for justice. Oh, an executive <laughs> decision. He died in the first scene. Yeah, really. He yeah. wasn't even in the movie. Basically, he he died on deadly ground. Was really bad too. But above the law, hard to kill. Marked for death, out for justice, under siege. That was a great run. Casey fucking Ryback. Casey fucking Ryback, baby. Ryback. He was <laughs> with uh, Michael Caine. Was on deadly ground too. Yeah, that was yeah. a bad one. But he bad. he had a good run up until uh, in two thousand and one. He that was with DMX, Exit Wounds. That was with DMX, and Ticker was bad, and then everything went terribly bad in two thousand three. <laughs> so he had a good run from eighty eight to two thousand three. He was doing very very well. Is, really, his movies was great. I would have said he was done before 2003. No, he was super yeah, done. I would have thought. And he was moving towards doneness in 2001. Doneness. But he was... Is that true, D-Boy? Is the, that the, accurate? The, the, the popper popped up in 2003. Yeah, I mean, 92 to 97. Like, Fire Down Below was, like, the last, mm -hmm. like, really, like... Where he kind was of fighting. Fighting kind of guy. That where, was the mining town one. Where he fought. Right, right. Where he beat people up and had scenes and fighting. Mm -hmm. Then he stopped and became a guy, a fat man who did uh navy seal shooting like he would <laughs> yeah. he he would hold the gun like it was properly supposed to be held yeah, yeah. underneath cup, cup and, and saucer. cup and saucer yeah. and he would shoot two guys quickly and then do a zaba 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 <laughs> zaba <Yeah>. zaba zaba <laughs> <laughs> and 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 so he, he he had a good run i mean he had a good run solid run 